Booty Tribe. It's your girl Najee here and I'm back with another video and this video has been so requested like crazy and sorry I just felt like a little bit more time needed to go by. I still feel like time needs to go by but I keep getting DMs about my hair because all I do is wear wigs on this channel so it's like nobody's really been knowing what's going on with my hair so this is my hair okay. It has been six months and this is what we're working with. Like my hair did not really grow in my opinion, but we're gonna get into that. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys pictures, videos, stuff like that. Um, some of you guys may have already have seen. And yeah, I'm just gonna give you my Big Chop update, my six month Big Chop update. You guys keep asking me about it, so here it is. <laughs> So for one, I big chopped in early September and I do have a video on my channel of me big chopping and the reason why I big chopped, I used to have very long hair but I noticed my hair was not growing anymore because of the damage that I've done to it with bleaching and all of the box dye. The box dye is really what killed my hair, especially my, it fried out my curl pattern. I just knew I needed to start over and it was just this teeter-tottering of me being like will I be attractive with short hair like do I really want to do this and another part of me being like well do you want to be cute with fried ass ugly ass hair like that don't make no sense so I was like you know what I just need to start all over I could always do protective styles I could always wear wigs like it's not the end of the world right so that is when I decided to do my big chop so if you guys want to see that big chop video I'll put a link in the comment section and I'll pin it all the links I'll just pin them to the comment section because whenever I say I'm gonna put the link in the description I always forget so I'm just gonna pin it in the comment section and then you guys can go and click on it if you haven't seen it a lot of my subscribers didn't even know that I big chop like it was so weird like there will be certain videos where out of nowhere I won't have a wig and I'll just have like a hoodie or like a beanie on and people will be like, yo, Nadja, you cut your hair? What the fuck? Like, so yeah, I cut my hair, so that video will be there. Then I was like, you know what? This is still a little bit too long for me. Like, I could still see some of the damaged pieces and like you could even see in that video that there were still damaged pieces and I still didn't have like a really good curl pattern still because you could still see some of the box dye ends and stuff like that like it still looked bad in my opinion so I was like you know what I'm gonna go back and try to style it and do all whatever so I gave myself a little pixie cut and I thought the pixie cut was cute but at the same time I was like my hair is not going to grow back evenly like it's just not gonna grow back in evenly and like it's the back so it's gonna be shorter than the front and it's just I don't know I just knew that that's not what I wanted to do either so I rocked the pixie cut for maybe like a week or two and then I cut my hair again to really short now I'm sorry this picture is like super ugly but like this is like the day that I cut it because I was about to do like a get ready with me so I was trying to look as crusty as possible okay cut your girl some slack so yeah this is like the day of like when I cut it for real all of this happened within the span of like a month like I was just cutting my hair like crazy like yeah I was just you know chopping chop chopping chop for that first month of September and then finally I got to a low cut so you know once I did have my low cut I did make a video about some of the things that I wish I would have known before I cut my hair I'm not gonna lie to you guys I really wasn't feeling my best with my low cut and I felt like it was a challenge to myself to see how confident I really was and that I admitted to myself that in fact I really was hiding behind my hair like I thought my hair was what made me different or attractive or you get what I'm saying and then like once I cut it off I remember being like damn like I feel like I'm not skinny enough to have a low cut because my face is very round like I feel like that was a mistake like I feel like I'm like exposing a little bit too much of my face with my low cut and, and like certain comments that I would get in public from people like or like the main thing and I don't know why this bugged me in the beginning but it was like for whatever reason I didn't want people to think that I could not grow my hair and that my hair was never long I don't know why that bothered me so much in the beginning but when I tell you that shit used to I used to be so self-conscious about that like I hope these people don't think like I, I my hair just doesn't grow like I used to have long hair I don't know why that was like such a concern of mine of what other people thought about me right when I got my big chop and when I made that video of like the do I have regrets and stuff like that I was kind of tiptoeing around it if that makes sense like I didn't want to fully admit that okay 
some days I think I look good with my shortcut but then other days I'm like damn bitch you cut like way too short like if I could go back I would still cut my hair that short but it's like when it was that short I was just so uncomfortable and I wish I would have cut it like right to here or something so like I could at least put my hair in a ponytail like it's so weird because when my hair was long I was like uh all I do is put my hair in this crusty ass bun and blah blah blah, blah. but now like when my hair was that length all I wanted to do was put my hair in a fucking ponytail <laughs> like it's so crazy so you know it has been six months since then and this is the length of my hair I do not know how long it is but the curl pattern is so much better like you can actually see like definition in my hair and i don't have any products in my hair right now i have not done anything to my hair and please excuse my eyebrows you guys know like i'm moving right now if you guys are watching this i'm already moved into my new spot but yeah your girl needs her eyebrows done so fight me fight me what's up fight me by the eyebrow <laughs> but yeah like my hair is finally gone under my ear so this is how long it is right here but then in the back it's like as long to my choker right here but even though it's this long sis let me tell y'all i still can't put your girl in a ponytail i was on <laughs> How long ago was that? Maybe that was a month ago or like two months ago. I don't know. I think it was, it had to have been like a month and a half ago. Well, it, when you guys are watching, it's gonna be March, maybe like two months ago, I don't know. But I was on the phone with the Mademoiselle, right? And I was so, well, we were FaceTiming and I was so like driven, like, bitch, I'm about to make a ponytail. And like, I was just in the mirror, like trying to make this damn ponytail. Like, I mean, I could kind of make a ponytail now, a little bit. But like, y'all, I'm over here with like this little ass ponytail and she is just dying laughing at me like, bitch, what are you even trying to do? And I'm just like, girl, I'm gonna try to get this ponytail. So I got like a track and I wrapped it around and it was cute for like two seconds and then just collapsed. And I'm like, you know what, fuck this damn ponytail, I'm over it. And she was like, what you about to do? I was like, I'm about to put on a goddamn wig. Fuck this ponytail. But no, like seriously, like now I'm just now able to like get the top half of my head into a ponytail and the back half into a ponytail, but I cannot get all of my hair in one consecutive ponytail um i have tried natural hair clip-in extensions they don't look right on my hair yet i feel like my hair is still too short for that because um you can kind of see the tracks it just doesn't cover up well because obviously I, I get shrinkage and shit when my hair is wet it just gets really small but when my hair is like out like this it has more volume and more can be done with it i prefer when my hair is like this and not like a wash and go because it's it just looks really condensed and small and it shrinks. So yeah, and the only way the um, extensions look good on me because I have different hair um, curl patterns in my head is when it's all wet. So yeah, it just doesn't look good. Um, I've actually bought one of those drawstring um, ponytails or whatever to try to put my hair in a ponytail so at least then I can get like a headband and put it all back and then try to put the drawstring on that that didn't work because the drawstring didn't want to stretch because I bought a cheap ass stupid piece of shit or whatever. I've even had one of you guys, one of you guys sent me a video that your sister did trying to put her ponytail into it and she, her shit looked bomb and I tried to do it but my hair was just too, it's, it's still too short to do it. Another thing that has happened is I have bought um, braiding hair. Guys, when my hair was long, I used to be able to um, braid my own hair, plait my own hair, um uh, and like scalp braid my own hair i used to be able to give myself senegalese twists faux locks box braids i used to be able like when it came to natural hairstyle i never went to anybody's salon so i was like you know what it's the winter time and i was gonna do this when i want to say like last month or yeah it was last month and i bought some braiding hair and you know i parted my hair and i used rubber bands so first i parted my hair with a comb and i kept the sections together with black rubber bands and i took the rubber bands off when i was working so i took one rubber band off and i tried to braid the hair and my hair just kept slipping 
and I was like, damn, my hair is actually too fine to braid now because I've never had that problem in my life, bitch. I've always had thick ass, thick ass hair, okay? So just the fact that I couldn't, like, it just kept slipping. I was like, what is going on? Like, I can't get my box braids. So I was like, I don't know. I might have to go to a salon or something to figure it out. Or if you guys know like any tutorials or anything on YouTube that could like help me specifically because like my hair will not grip. Like it just won't grip, it just keeps sliding. Like the mixture of it being short and my hair being different textures. Like when I did it in the middle of my head, it actually stuck. But when I do it like on the perimeter right here, it, it just kept slipping. So if any of you guys have any videos or anything like that, like let me know. Um, because I really, really want some um, uh, Marley Twists for the summer because I really don't want to be wearing wigs in the summertime and I do want to have my natural hair out but I also want it to grow. I don't want it to get all sandy because you guys, if you guys are watching this now, I live at the beach. Like, I don't want it to be getting all sandy. I don't want sand in my hair but I do want to be at the damn beach. Like, so it's just like... I don't know if any of you guys have any videos please let me know because that is just like my thing oh and also if you guys are watching this it's my grandma's birthday i want to post this on march 1st so that it's her birthday so if you guys are watching this put happy birthday sharon in the comments and i'm gonna show it to you yeah that's what i that's like my struggles as of right now what i've been dealing with is it's like i want to do i want to get more creative with my protective styles and stuff but my hair even though it may look longer than it did before it's like my hair doesn't want to grip because it's thin well not thin as in like i can't explain it it's like thin as in like things just slide right off of it like i don't know but it's complete it's a completely different like the definition of the curls is crazy my hair has never been like this i have not washed my hair in like uh maybe like three or four days now because i'm really not trying to overwash it i want to get all the oils i can get but like before if i did not wash my hair for only like back in my hair's prime i could go max five days without washing my hair and if any of y'all don't have natural hair out there i don't need nobody calling me gross or no shit like People that have coily natural hair, they need to preserve their oils, okay? Like we can we can hold on to oils more because the oils in our hair aren't going to just fall off. That's why when some people that have straight hair, their hair becomes greasy if they do not wash their hair mo more because the oils just travel down their hair. Ours coil, so it takes the oils longer to travel, therefore, we can wash our hair less, but it doesn't mean we don't wash our hair just because we don't wash our hair as much. Short education, because I know everybody watching this video probably may not be natural. It may just it may just be, you know, they just might fuck with me and they're just probably curious about my hair. So just throwing that out there. Your girl ain't dirty, okay? But back when my hair was healthy, I can go like five days without washing my hair. And like, you know, I would still have pop and curl definition. But in the last like two to three years, if I didn't wash my hair like once every three days, my hair pattern would just, my curl pattern would be non-existent. It would just be frizzy. And like, you know, some people will have like um, really coarse hair, but they will still have a curl. My hair did not have a curl. Like I had no definition at all. Like it was just bad. And I haven't washed my hair in that long and I still have a curl definition is insane like i've I, it hasn't been that way for me since i was like um a freshman or a sophomore in high school like it's just crazy so do i have any tips honestly i don't i have been leaving my hair the fuck alone i have not been experimenting with any products if anything i've just been using products that i used to use when i was a kid because I don't know about y'all, but all these, no, and no offense to my natural hair gurus because you gotta get that coin, bitch. I feel you, but it's like our parents never used all of those products that y'all are using. Like, we use different things and our hair grew. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back to my roots. Get me that Aussie shampoo, get me that um, mane and tail real quick. Um, I do put coconut oil in my hair every once in a while, maybe like once a month. Nothing too crazy though, because I don't want to weigh my hair down too much, but I put coconut oil in my hair once a month. Um, I have not tried straightening my hair. 
I have not. Um, I've thought about it once because I saw this one video where this girl straightened her TWA and that shit looked cute as fuck. Like it was like this sleek pixie cut thing and it was just so freaking cute. Another thing, I can't stop touching my hair now. Now that it's at this length, it's like I just love to touch it. I don't know why, but yeah. But yeah, I thought about straightening it, but then out of nowhere, you know, climate change is actually real, bitch. Um, newsflash, guys. Uh, and it was like 85 degrees um, at the beginning of February and I was just like, bitch, straighten who? Like, what's the point of damaging your hair? Of course I was gonna use a heat protectant and stuff like that, but it's just like, What's the point of doing that when it's like, it's just gonna get, it's just gonna be humid, your hair's just gonna puff up. Like what's the point of doing that? And it's like, whatever. Um, and this was mainly just because I wanted to do something new because my hair has been like this for six months. And you know, usually with my natural hair, when it was longer, I would have done something with my hair by now, whether it be buy some extensions or, um, I definitely would have straightened it in November and you know usually with my or I would have dyed it like just stupid shit like that but yeah that's the average Naja setback with her hair. But yeah that's pretty that's pretty much it dude I don't really have anything else to say if you guys have any more questions let me know um if you guys have any tips for me let me know especially when it comes to those protective styles oh my god like I want braids so bad like somebody help me bitch like I've even tried to leave the little black rubber band on and braid around it but my hair just knotted all on it and it was because I literally have to make to tie it like really tight for it to stay because my hair is so like it'll just slip off and it just knotted my hair and it hurt like help me bitch i'm not trying to pay nobody to do my hair like please bitch please help me give me some videos send me some links give me some channel names something because your girl is your girl really wants some braids this summer she really does and if i figure it out by myself i'll post a video because i told you guys like i really want my channel i'm and you guys really misunderstood me in one of my other videos when i was like i want to stop doing story time so much and you know branch my channel out i am still going to be doing story times once a week i will still do a tribe t live segment once a week but i also want to do like diys i want to do fashion videos i want to i want to travel i want to go do vlogs like i want to do you know how to videos like I want to do videos with my friends like stuff like that like I really just want to branch out from what I'm already doing because the people who fuck with me can tell that I'm getting bored like we talk about I'm talking about my tribe members too like y'all be DMing me and you're like damn sis I can kind of tell you're kind of tired of the same old same old like maybe you should branch out test to see what people like and that's just what I'm gonna do and I feel like it would really reignite my spark in the YouTube world because I really lo I love doing YouTube and yeah, so I really want to do more natural hair videos, more natural hair updates, hair updates in general, um, tutorials on things that I figure out to do with my hair. Like if I figure out stuff to do with my short hair, I'm going to start posting tutorials now because I did end up successfully getting a bun before and I was like, damn, I should have did a tutorial on that. So yeah, I'll, I'll start posting more so you guys can see and yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.